Hi guys, it's Richard Price from Digital360 here. I thought I'd just do a very quick um, video on the dedupe um, feature now available in the new professional uh, subscription license for Zoho CRM. So if you just go to contacts, for example, you go to contact tools and it's got deduplicate contacts. So you go into here. This is wizard driven. So you can select one of these um, uh, selections here. I tend to find that email and phone number are the most um, useful. Account name is not very useful because if we've got multiple contacts for an account, then it's uh, going to show all of them. However, if you have merged uh, a number of accounts with duplicate contacts that may actually be useful so in that situation it is I'm going to just select email and go next it shows me here a list um, of uh, situations where there are duplicate emails so I'm going to select um, uh, Bob test and go next and um, I can see that there's um, three of them here it's all based on this, so I'm going to um, say merge these, select next, and then you can um, select which ones that you want to keep and which ones you want to discard, and then go merge, and then it takes you to the next one. That is um, a, a big difference to um, what you would normally do if you're on a standard or an old professional license, which is that you would have to um, open up the actual record itself. So if I go in here and go um, Richard Price, so I can see these two are duplicate emails. I open that up. I've then got to go into more actions, find and merge duplicates. I then have to go none, or oh, um, go yes, none, 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 and then it tells me, and then I can select the two records, and then go next, and then merge. So you can see how many more steps you've got to go through um, to, to do that, whereas the, um, the, the deduplicate um, the contacts wizard just simply gives you the choices and you just crank on through and and this list shrinks so you could probably do um, I would say um, comfortably if you um, if you click here I would say that you could comfortably merge um, a um, um, a record in about sort of 10 to 20 seconds each as opposed to you know nearly 30 seconds um, doing it the the other way so if you've got thousands to do then you know that um, uh, is going to to help you dramatically um, the other thing is is then you can also see which ones are coming up um, etc otherwise you're going to have to what I do is set up um, some views that um, uh, that highlight those um, duplicates and um, and then you've got to work through um, those and I, it, it's all very complicated whereas it's actually um, a lot simpler when you are using the deduplicate contacts or accounts or because uh, you can see under accounts the same tool is available. It's just got slightly different um, criteria um, uh, which you can go through. So if you go into here, I don't know whether I've got any accounts. No. Um, phone numbers. No. So I don't have any actual account duplicates at this stage. Um, so that is is one of the benefits of upgrading from um, your old professional plan to a new one. The only problem is, of course, there's an increase in cost, perhaps. Um, uh, but I'll I'll do that in a in a in a separate video. If you're not 
using too many of the add-ons, um, then uh, there will be a cost increase. Um, but if you're using, um, uh, say, um, two or more add-ons, um, as well as just the standard professional license under the old model, um, you may actually um, have just a marginal increase in cost. Um, because, for example, um, the old professional license was $12 US per user per license. And if you had the mail add-on and, say, the, um, the Outlook add-on or the Office add-on, um, they're three dollars each, so that's six, um, twelve, that's eighteen. Whereas the new professional license is twenty dollars, and it includes all the add-ons, um, so uh, you don't have those those additional um, costs. So um, you do save if each one of your users is using three or more add-ons under the old license. If you've got any questions, um, feel free to drop me an email, richard at digital360.co.nz. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.